You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of ABK Media Group, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County every day at 9 a.m. Southern living at its best. Good morning, good morning, all my Guinnesses out there in Gwinnett Land and all of you around the world listening to the sound of my voice. It's a wonderful day here in Gwinnett County. Kind of, it's a little chilly, 50 degrees, going up to a high about 53 and rainy. It rained, rained, rained. And I was out there in the rain yesterday. You know, yesterday we did a beautiful event. Um, Commissioner candidate for District 3, Derek Wilson, um, hosted an event yesterday called Christmas in the Park. It was raining, guys. It was cold. It was freezing and raining. But he hosted an event called Christmas in the Park, and it was a wonderful event. Um, and that, that event was meant to help families who were in need, in need of warm coats, um, in need of toys for children who were, you know, were probably weren't going to get anything. Um also, uh, we had food. It was a really, it was a really nice event. Some great people showed up and to just to support. Um, EXP Realty was there as a supporter. Um, so was First Option Mortgage there to support myself. Good Morning Net was there on spot doing live broadcasts and talking to people and doing live Facebooks to support. It was a great event. It, it touches your heart to be able to do something like that. But you know, it was, it was kind of sad because we are in America right now, and there are people who are still struggling to eat. I, every time I think about that, it's just, it's unimaginable almost. Like people struggling to eat. Like I, I remember I was in St. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on to the show, but I just gotta share the story with you, um, you guys. I remember I was in St. Lucia a few years ago, and I was at a filmmaker. I had to go over there and speak on um, streaming media. That's you know I'm in the media business. And I was invited to come and speak at a conference, and it's called um, the Paton Film Festival, and it was a film festival for filmmakers who. Lived on the island of St. Lucia. And St. Lucia is beautiful. It's, it only has about 180,000 residents, which is crazy, right? We got more than that in, like, in, in the county of Gwinnett. So we, so just imagine that. So Gwinnett got almost a million people. And here's a whole, it's a country. St. Lucia is considered a country. And it has, it has about 180,000 residents. But anyway, I was there on the island and, um, I remember talking to a filmmaker and he was a well-traveled, he was a well-traveled filmmaker. Like he, he did a lot of stuff off the island. He did a lot of stuff in New York. And he said to me, he says, you know, he's from New York. He said, I saw this guy eating out the garbage can. And he said, I thought to myself, we may not have everything you guys have over here. He said, but one thing I say we have, we have fruit that we can just go pick right off a tree. We have fish that we can just go right to the ocean and, 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 and pull right out the ocean we could take a bath in every one and right in the ocean he said and I realized that and that, that did something to me like I was like he's right you know we're supposed to be the wealthiest country in the world and people are still hungry like that is unimaginable like but it is and there were some families who showed up and they were they were so happy I, I had a coat that I had never worn it was brand new I probably had that for about 10 years. It had to be 10 years because I've been in Georgia 6, almost 7. I've never worn the coat. It was a beautiful burgundy coat. And after the young lady ate, she was there with, like, her and her husband. And it might have been four or five kids. After she ate, the first thing she did was take that coat and put it on. Because she came in there with a jacket on. And it was cold yesterday and rainy. And she put that coat on. And Derek said to me, look. And I said, I know. He said she was so happy. And it was a beautiful coat. I just never, like, I love clothes and I love shoes. And I just never got a chance to wear the coat because I lost a lot of weight. And it was, it was way, way, way too big. But um, she was able to take that coat and put it on. And she, you know, you could see the pride in her. And and that was an amazing feeling. That was an amazing feeling for all of us. So, you know, I want to say thank you to EXP Realty, Patricia, Khadija, and um, First Option Mortgage, and Derek for just, you know, wishing everybody well and doing this wonderful event. And I look forward to being a part of Christmas in the Park next year. A great event. And it was cold and rainy, but we had a great time. But anyway, let's get on to the show. So today is December the 23rd, guys. Two two days away from Christmas. I'm a, I'm a big kid when it comes to Christmas. I'm a big kid at heart. Like, I like to play video games. Not, not on the... um. So on my, on my iPad, I, I play a game at night to, like, make me wind down. Because if not, I'll be in business mode, like, all night and can't go to sleep. 
So around 10 o'clock at night, I'll play like a, a game on my iPad. But old-fashioned video games like like uh, Centipede and Pac-Man, I love those games. I'm a big kid at heart. Like I'll go to David Bust and play all the Galaxa games and all of those games because I love them. But anyway, today is December 23rd, and it's also National... Now, okay, I think I'm about to mess this up, but I'm going to try to say it. National Pfeffer Noose Day. <laughs> I have no idea what a Pfeffer Noose is, but it's National Pfeffer Noose Day. <laughs> Whatever that is, National Pfeffer Noose Day. It's also beautiful. It's like 50 degrees, going up to a high about 53. It's going to be nice and chilly and rainy for the rest of the day, but tomorrow... And Christmas Day is supposed to be beautiful. I'm looking forward to that. I got a house full of my nephews here. My niece is here. And my brother's flying in tonight with my other nephew and my sister-in-law. I'm just looking forward to having a really, really nice Christmas. So I'm excited about that. I'll be back. I'm coming to and say hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. So I'm not taking a day off. Because I got to take off some time in June. I'll be gone like eight days in June. Yeah, I don't think I'll be gone eight days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be gone like eight days in June. So, this show will not have me for eight days. I'm going to see if I find somebody to fill in for me, though. Because I don't know. I don't want you guys to go eight days without talking to me. Well, it probably won't be eight days. probably be five or six days. Because I think two of those days fall on the weekend. So, But still, I'm going to see if I can find somebody to fill in for me for those those couple of days. All right, so listen, we're going to go ahead and bring you the harvest brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. Today is December 23rd, and we're going to kick it off like we always do with Aries. <clears throat> Resistance leading to conflict will only make it twice as hard to turn your situation around. This is not the day to be extravagant. Your mate your mate may not be too sure about your intentions. Listen, your mate may not be sure about your intentions, so make sure that you know that what you're saying, you you make sure you're you're you're, you're uh, uh sure about your intentions. <clears throat> All right, Taurus, you will find that you can work progressively at improving yourself today. Don't let them in on your plans if you want things to run smoothly. Do what's best for the people you love the most. That's what I'm saying. Do what's best for the people you love the most. You hear me, Taurus? That, that, that's what I do. Yep, sometimes I, I overdo it. Sometimes I'm overextended. But I am always do what's best for the people I love the most. Always. Even when it's sometimes detrimental to myself. I know. We should, we should put ourselves first, but I'm just saying. Gemini. Club memberships and donations could be expensive and prove unnecessary. Don't start <laughs> Don't start any arguments unless you're prepared to accept irrevocable results. Try to bend to their wishes if you want to avoid conflict. Now, listen. Listen, Gemini. They told you about this club membership. They know everybody is about to join the gym in two days. Like, right after Christmas, right after they eat their ham and lasagna and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a membership to the gym. It was so funny because this morning, I realized I've had my membership probably a year now. A year and a half. About a year and a half. And I've probably gone, and it's, it's terrible, I know. I've probably gone to the gym 20 times in a year and a half, which is terrible. Um, and I told my daughter, well, I think I'm just going to cancel this membership and get me a three wheel bike. And she's like, no, 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 I'm going to go with you, but we need to go three days a week. I was like, well, cause here's the thing about the gym. Like I will come, I would rather start working and go to the gym. Right. I have a bike that I ride in my bedroom, but I, I got a gym membership. I got the premium membership cause I want the premium membership and I don't even go like it's crazy. But she said she's going to go with me because with my premium membership, I can bring somebody with me. So three days a week, we're going to go. But for those of you who are about to get a membership because it's the new year and you want to do right, just make sure it's something you really want to do. I've been holding on to mine for a year and a half, and I hardly ever use it. It's terrible. I know. Slap me with a wet noodle. Cancer, don't hesitate to present your unique ideas. Do something constructive outside. You will not be able to contain your emotions today. <laughs> okay, Cancer. You know, Cancers are always, well, you know what? They're sometimes emotional. And today won't be a day that you're going to be able to contain it, unfortunately. Leo, don't vacill- don't vacillate about asking for assistance if you need it. Ask, right? If you need assistance, they ask, Leo. You'll be able to pick up and pick up on future trends if you keep your eyes peeled for unique ideas. Don't blame others for your own stubbornness. And Leo can be very stubborn. I know some. My best friend is a Leo. Yes, I know. Virgo, be careful not to get involved in other people's personal affairs. Be careful not to misplace your wallet or belongings. 
Think of the changes to your home that will please and add to everyone's comfort. Mm. Be careful not to get in other people's affairs. In other words, Virgo, mind your own business. That's what they're really saying. They didn't want to say it, so I'm just going to say it. All right, listen, I'll be right back after the song. Give you more of the Harvest Coast brought to you by Noted Astrology, Michael Thyssen. You're listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. I know it don't show, but I'm falling. Cigarette smoke, sick from drinking. Baby, don't think I will save you. But I'll tell you the things we can do if you give in. There is nothing to be broken. Hear this moment. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you daily horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Michael Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Libra, direct your energy into physical entertainment. Your talent talent will be recognized. Changes in your home will be positive. All right. Physical entertainment. I don't know exactly what that is. Some sports, maybe? Sounds good. Sounds good, Libra. Sports sounds good. Don't worry. Your talent will be recognized before this year is out. Maybe before the day is out. That's a good thing. Scorpio, dealing with in-laws or relatives would not be in your best interest. If you can't get ahead in the company you're with, perhaps it's time to move on. You can make career changes that may put you in a much higher bracket. Listen, Scorpio, change is hard, but sometimes it's necessary. So if you can't get ahead where you are right now, maybe it's time to move on. Especially if you want to get some more money. Hey, listen, they won't promote you. Promote yourself. That's all I'm saying. Sagittarius. Be extra careful with your valuables. Loss and theft are evident today. Your ability to put a deal together will surprise others. Be primed to use your intellect in order to get what you want. Listen, 
be careful with your valuables. Somebody is looking to steal from you today, Sagittarius. So just be careful. Careful where you lay your keys. Careful where you lay your purse. Careful where you lay your phone. Careful where you lay your bank card. Be careful. They're waiting on you. They are waiting on you. Capricorn, you'll be able to talk about emotional problems with your partner. Travel and educational pursuits may help alleviate the stress you have been feeling. Abrupt changes in your home may send you for a loop. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know about them changes, but anyway, you'll be able to talk talk about emotional problems with your partner. Anytime you can communicate with the person that you love, that is a good thing. So the fact that you can talk about emotional problems with your partner, that's a good thing, Cap. So go ahead, get it off your chest. Aquarius, be prepared for an active but rewarding day. Question your mate if you must. Use quick wit to win points and friends. Be prepared for an active rewarding day. Listen, and only question your mate if you must. It's about to be Christmas. You don't want to be mad at Christmas time. If it's something that could wait or just don't need to be said at all, just leave it. I'm not saying throw away something important, but I'm saying sometimes we could just be questioning people about the, the dumbest stuff. Because right at that moment, it feels like it's really important to us. So if you could not have to question your mate today and mess up your whole Christmas weekend, weekday, don't do it. All right, Aquarius and my fellow fish Pisces. Based on your excitement, serious-minded individuals will be more than interested in backing your ideas. Yes, Pisces. Yes, fish. Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited about noise media, baby. I am excited. So if I got a serious-minded a person out there interested in backing up more noise, because I I intend to make I intend to build noise into a multimedia empire. Yes, that is my goal. That is my plan. That is my intention. A multi-million dollar multimedia empire. <coughs> I'm saying too much, right? My throat's starting to itch. Anyway, anyway, Pisces, take care of any dealings with government agencies. You'll be ready to jump on anyone who gets in the way of your progress today. I sure will. That's the day I got to get it done today. I got to get it done. I got stuff to do. I ain't got no time to play around. I got to get her done. Get her done. <coughs> I right, so listen. That's all I got for you today. For the horoscope. I'm sorry about all this coughing and stuff. But my throat is just started itching. That happens sometimes. It does. I'll be back tomorrow to give you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Mike Bison. But now let's move on to some news you can use. But before we do that, y'all, I'm going to go to a song so I can have in a moment. All right? So stay tuned after this song. Say something meaningful. Say something I don't know. I want to know you better The way that you talk to me The way that you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you make me feel right Wanna look at you all night you in that spotlight Oh, you know you Till my lungs give out your beautiful Make me feel fine. Wanna look at you all night. 
Put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night All night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful to the good morning with next show <clears throat> so sometimes you get little things with your voice but what it makes it very good and soothes my voice I mean, so i always got some kind of peppermint close by i think i'm gonna i don't like i don't like any kind of tea but regular tea i kind of like green tea a little bit but for the most part i don't like anything but regular black tea and um but i think i'm gonna have to start having like some peppermint tea because every now and then i get this tickle in my throat and you know you get that tickle in your throat and you can't do nothing but start coughing i don't want to be coughing on air like i'm sitting here like trying to you know, get it together, but I couldn't, so I had to go out and get some water and get some peppermint. Now I'm a little better, but it's all—it's like it's like there's weather down here. Like it's like everybody has like some type of allergy going on right now. So it's like I feel like I have an allergy, and I don't know what that is all about. But I, I've talked to so many people who say the same thing. Like it's like it's allergy season. Like it's scary because normally in the winter time. I don't suffer any kind of allergies. Now, September, I suffer with, I'm, I'm allergic to ragweed. So, I start, my eyes start itching and stuff. But here lately, everybody has been saying the same thing. Man, it's something, like, I feel like I got an allergy. That's what it feels like. It feels like your nose is kind of stopped up. Your throat is itching. And then it'll stop. And then it'll come back. Then it'll stop. Then it'll come back. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But anyway, let's get on to some news you can use. So, here's, here's, here's a part of the show where I call people helping people. And I love to talk about these stories. But anyway... Parkview Junior ROTC contributed eight thousand dollars in toys and donations to Toys for Tots. Eighty thousand dollars. Let's talk about it earlier when I talked about Commissioner Hopeful um Derek uh, Wilson who hosted an event yesterday to had to hand out toys and coats. But anyway, each year the Parkview High School and I went I, I got a chance to go to Parkview. They had a wonderful group of kids that were there for career day, which was kind of cool. Um, each year, uh, Parkview High School uh, School's Marine Corps Junior ROTC Toys for Tots Drive, um, Staff Gunnery Sergeant uh, David Irwin tells his students he hopes that they wake up Christmas morning with their wish wish list fulfilled. He reminds them that um, that's not the case for every family, and it really is not. It really is like it's it's a it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. They were like. Let me see. We had about, let me see, one, two, three, about five families show up. And each one of those families had about four or five kids. So that was a bunch of people who showed up to get some food, pick up some coats, pick up some toys. We had a car seat there, a baby bed, just things that they could use. But you would think that in this day and age, that's not the case. But there's people living in, you know, extended state hotels. And, you know, um, Sheriff Hope, Hopeful Curtis Clemens, he said he had so many toys that they donated and they just went around to an extended state hotel and they just knocked on doors and gave out toys. Like they didn't even, he didn't have an event place. Like, listen, we're going to take the toys to the people, which is a great thing because there are people living in extended state hotels that that's where they live. You know, and do you know how big a hotel room is? Yeah. When well, you got to stay there for a day and extended stay, you know, the little in the little suites or whatever with the kitchens, they all cute. Cause I stayed in one that was beautiful. I was like, this is very, very nice. But when you got to pile seven people up in a, in an extended stay room, it's not so nice. I'm just saying it's not. Anyway, these kids got together and they, they donated a bunch of stuff. 
$80,000 worth. Let, let, let's give them a round of applause. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Wonderful. Because they, they could have been doing something else. You know what I'm saying? They didn't. They were, they were there. They were donating. They were donating their time. And it makes you feel good to give back. That's all I'm saying. It makes you feel good to give back. And because I felt amazing. I, anybody that knows me know I hate being out in the rain and the cold. I do, I do, I do. Um, but I was there and I felt good. Um, and Because and it, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good to give back. Especially when it comes from the heart. Especially when it comes from your heart. You know what I'm saying? It does. But that's that's what people helping people is all about. Here's another great story. Um, Pink Gwinnett Pink raises $150,000, $150,269 for Gwinnett Medical Center Foundation. A lot of money. A lot of money. But they were able to raise that money. So supporters of the fight against cancer raised a lot of green for Gwinnett Medical Center Foundation by painting Gwinnett County Pink earlier this fall. They raised one hundred. $50,269. And they presented that check to the foundation. Another great organization. My mom had breast cancer. And I tell you, without the without the technology that we have now in place, we may not have had her. Because it was like she was fine. She just went for a mammography and it showed up. They were able to catch it. And it came back twice. But they were able to catch it both times. And I still have her today. And she's literally celebrating 10 years almost of being cancer free. So kudos to you guys who raised this money. Pink when that pink. Kudos to you. Let's give them a round of applause. Yes. Doing great work. Good work. Yep. Gotta say thank you. Gotta get the props to do. They put in a lot of hard work as well to get it done. I'm just saying it does. They did. All right. So listen, I'm going to go to see right back. It's on to get more of the rundown about what's going on in and around. Glass. Ooh, it seems to be something seems to be smelling fishy, according to some people, when it comes to net transit and a new community that's been put in place. But I'll talk about that when I come back, right after this song.
show listen <clears throat> so the Gwinnett Transit City uh do the Gwinnett Transit panel works draws skeptics draws some uh, skepticism like there are some people who are saying you know what I don't know about this committee job got in place here so you know back in last back in March the referendum the transit referendum failed it didn't get passed and so <coughs> excuse me and so they put together a steering committee to help, you know, fill in the gaps and get everything done. But now there are some people saying, I don't know. This panel has instead opted to explore smaller tweaks to help fill the plan's coverage gaps. So, so people are people that are critics and supporters alike saying, Mm-mm, something ain't right about this plan. Nah. So they're saying, you know what? This is this sounds like something a group that was put in place just just to just to rubber stamp what was already there. So they're not happy about that. So I don't know how long the committee is going to be together. But anyway, um, they're saying that they never wanted any other input, said Norcross resident Joe Newton, who led a small but effective opposition effort to march ballots um, measure. The whole thing was structured so they could come out with this conclusion. Advocates, meanwhile, have concerns about what a largely similar plan could mean for the fate or the future of the referendum. Art Sheldon, a longtime transit advocate and 2020 candidate for com- county commission chairman, likened uh, the committee process to hanging wallpaper. <laughs> oh, Art Sheldon says, like hanging wallpaper. It looks like we're doing something, the Democrats said, but we're ending up with the same flawed plan that had a, that they had originally. Mm. Mm-hmm. 13 member transit review committee was assembled in October. Um, about seven months after Gwinnett uh, special market election fell in an eight-point margin. Had the referendum been approved, Gwinnett would have joined Marta's system and residents would have paid an additional 1% sales tax for more than 30 years. The, rev- the revenue would have paid um, for the projects, included the county's $5 billion transit plan, everything from a passenger rail extension into Norcross area to greatly expand local bus service, greatly expanded local bus service. But anyway... Yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not happy, you know. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So possibly they're going to do a new referendum, uh, transit referendum in the very near future. Probably early 2020. Early 2020 is in two weeks. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. So the committee whose members were appointed by the county commissioners, Um, commission members and a number of community groups was originally given until the end of December to complete the evaluation and submit the report. It's already being granted a one month extension and they still came back with this. So they're not happy. So we're going to see how that all rolls out. I don't don't know how long the the committee going to be in place. We got an election coming up. I'm just saying somebody's running for commissioner. Someone's running for all the some commission seats. Yeah. 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 I said, listen, Gwinnett play moving 2020 for elections, for 2020 elections. So there are going to be some polling places that are going to be moving, so you need to know where they are. The Loganville polling place will move ahead of the 2020, upcoming 2020 election. 146 in Loganville will move from Anchor Church to school. The county elections board approved the move on December the 17th. Um, and then, so here's the thing, make sure you know where to vote because the election is coming, all kind of crap going on election year. And this is election across the country. Yes. The church asked the election board to find a new polling place for the precinct because it felt the size of the precinct had grown beyond their location. Um, said Christy Royston, the county elections director, the elections board unanimously ab- approved Cooper Elementary as a new location. Both the church and the school are on less than a half a mile apart. You can see more information. You can see it from the church. So listen, so make sure, make sure that you know where you go at. Right? Make sure. Because it's a lot of, every time it's time to vote, all kinds of craziness come up. So they're going to, the church is saying it's too small. We understand that. But I'm just saying there's a whole lot of stuff that's going to come up. This is a, a huge election year, probably bigger than any year ever. I I think it is. I just, I think it is. So I'm just saying, 
Make sure you know where you got to go vote at. Make sure your ID's in the right place. You know, you got the proper ID. All of that. All of that. You got all that in place. Because when you go to the polls, you want to make sure you can cast your vote. Because what will happen is you wait till the last minute and you get to the polls. And I'm bad about this, but I won't do this this year. I always vote the last day around 6 o'clock in the evening. I won't do that this year. I'm going to make sure I go ahead of time so this any. I got time to go back and fix it. Now, there shouldn't be a problem. I've been voting at the same place for the last six or seven, almost seven years. So I shouldn't have a problem, but you never know. You just never know. So I will make sure my husband and I vote early this year. So if there's a problem, we can fix it so we can vote. Te- teachers grow frustrated over Gwinnett County performance-based awards. Mm, mm, mm. An award system meant to provide bonuses to Gwinnett County public most effective teachers is instead being met with concern by educators questioning the system's fairness and whether or not too many educators are overlooked. Here we go. I'm telling you. Yeah, all, well, I'm not going to say all of them may not deserve it, but most teachers do. On December 18, 3,144 teachers received a one-time bonus amounting to a total of $12,377,863.68. Awards were distributed based on two different methods of evaluation. One encompassed professional growth, teacher assessment on performance standards evaluation, students growth, and weight and weight school assessment. The other method excludes a student growth measure in an effort to expand the base of eligible teachers. The awards we do not the awards do not subtract from the salaries of other teachers according to the school district. School district officials. Gwinnett County Public School CEO and Superintendent J. Alvin Wilbank said the award system is a departure from the traditional salary scale that pays teachers based on years of service. He believes this pay for performance method is a fair way to pay the district's most effective teachers. Now that sounds like it could means there's a problem. Right? It does. We employ some of the best teachers in the profession, but historically the highest performing teachers have not been recognized and rewarded financially for their truly outstanding work they do. Will Bink said the most opposition to the award system stems from educators who are left out and the perception that the system favors schools with wealthy, already high performing students. Mm, I knew it was something coming. I knew it. Some teachers who, now here's the thing about that, right? So, and, and, and I, if that's the case, then I, I got to go back. So you think about this. If you work at a, a, a wealthy school with high-performing students, right, who have the best conditions because the school is wealthy, the kids are wealthy, the parents are wealthy, the school is already, what about that parent, what about that teacher who work in the underprivileged schools where the kids have so many problems that it's almost hard to even get them to come to school? That So, right? So if, you, if you're going to, shed light because these schools are doing so well but these these teachers over here working so hard because of the because of the kids that they have to teach you might want to revisit that i'm just saying my brother worked in the inner city he's been working there almost 25 years i think 25 years he knows what it's like to be in the inner city working with kids right kids come to school hungry some of them don't have clean clothes some of them didn't sleep last night because of stuff that's going on some of them been abused yeah, that's a lot. So you got to make sure you're doing this thing fairly, Mr. Will Banks. You got to look at all of that. I get it. I understand you want to reward those who are doing a great job. But you also got to look at those who are doing a great job and it doesn't look like it, look like it because of the kids that they got to teach. You got to step into their shoes. I know my brother tells me he's a father sometime, the uncle, the mentor, the coach. He's there to those kids. So it sounds good when you hear the part of it, but do you got to go back and look at those teachers who have those kids who are just really, they go tough. So just trying to get through to them is, is hard. Not that they don't want to, not that they're not trying. It's just hard because they just got a lot in lives. I'm telling you, my friend was a, she was a mentor in a, in a girls program and she was like, oh my God, some of these girls, right? And it was hard for her. Like at first it was hard because they had, they had problems, problems. So. You got to think think that through real hard. All right, the Gwinnett uh, Stripers and the Atlanta Braves Foundation are now accepting applications for the 2020 Stripers Grant Program. The program will award 2500 $2, to a different nonprofit each month during the minor league baseball regular season for, from May through August. Each month will focus on a different category of nonprofit organizations. 
all fitting within the Atlanta Braves Foundation pillars of live, learn, play, and serve. All right. Four categories are, I sound like I'm about to do an awards, right? Like a, a really awards. May is Military Programs Month. June is Health and Wellness Programs Month. July is Service Oriented Programs Month. And youth, August is Youth Programs Month. Interesting, interesting nonprofit organizations may apply online by going to ghoststripers.com backslash grants through March the 1st. The deadline is March the 1st. So if you want to apply for one of these grants, if you fit in any of these four categories, May is military programs, June is health and wellness programs, July is service-oriented programs, and August is youth programs. For more information about this, this grant, you can go to Gwinnett Deli Post, look up the information there, check out the website, um, and, and see how you can get partake in this. They're going to give one, one away for four months, $2,500. Your nonprofit can probably use this money, so go check it out. Go to Gwinnett Deli Post to check that out. All right, there's a Toastmasters Power Hour meeting today. Yep, if you want to go to Toastmasters today at 12 o'clock, 12 to 1. Toastmasters is there to help you speak with confidence, improve your communication with family and friends, give and get uh, constructive pre uh, feedback from those who are in attendance. And if you want to learn how to thrive in a supportive learning environment. You can go there today, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 4973 West Price Road, and that's in Swanee at North Gwinnett Church. 12 to 3 is free. 12 to, I'm 12 to 3. 12 to 1. Address again is 4973 West Price Road, and that's in Swanee, Georgia. North Gwinnett Church is free, 12 p.m. to 1. I have to I have to arrange my schedule so I can go. That's one of my that's one of my um one of my goals is to go to um Toastmasters because I, I know I speak fast and I want to learn how to slow down. I do. I know I speak fast. So I, I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to be a better uh, broadcaster, a better podcaster, not not broadcaster, a better podcaster. All right. So listen, <laughs> Chick-fil-A is always doing something. Always. I wish the Christmas wish. Today, 6 p.m. You can make a huge difference in the lives of those and of others and celebrate true meaning of with the fish, this fish Christmas wish program. Stop by any of the fish Christmas wish live broadcasts or evening appearances at Chick-fil-A locations around Atlanta. Um, to look through the fish Christmas wish list on the Verizon wireless tablet and select a wish for you and your family to grant. So you want to grant a wish to somebody, it's called a fish wish. Chick-fil-A is, 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 is sponsoring this at one of your locations. So you want to do it today, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., Christmas wish appearance. Go to Chick-fil-A Johns Creek, and that's located at 3643 Peachtree Park, and that's in Swing. If you want to go out and grant a wish through the Christmas wish appearance, Monday, that's this evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., Chick-fil-A Johns Creek, located at 3643 Peace Tree Parkway in Essence, Swanee. It's that time of the year, guys. You want to go out and, and, and grant a wish to a family? This is your opportunity. Grant a Christmas wish. Chick-fil-A is all around the Atlanta area. Chick-fil-A is, is doing this. So check it out. Yep. Chick-fil-A is... I, I see Chick-fil-A everywhere doing all kind of things. I do. Everywhere. So normally I do announcement by the movie on Tuesdays, but today the Polar Express is going to be playing um, at the Eagle Theater located at 5029 West Broad Street, and they have three showings. So you can go at 11 o'clock today, 4 o'clock this afternoon, or 7 o'clock this evening, right? Yep, and that's the Eagle Theater, 5029 West Broad Street in Sugar Hill. They're going to be showing the Polar Express 11 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and seven o'clock tickets are two dollars concessions are available for purchases no outside food is allowed you can go check it out two dollars so it's two dollars monday i mean it's two dollars tuesday but the day is two dollars monday so you want to take the kids out because the kids are probably out of school right now take them out to the polar express 11 o'clock a.m four o'clock p.m seven o'clock p.m the eagle theater 5029 west broad street in sugar hill yep two dollars I normally say $2 too, but it's $2 Monday. You can buy snacks at the stand. No outside food is allowed. All right, so listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I'm going to go to my last song, and then I'm going to come back and give you my word of inspiration so you can continue your day.
So listen, guys, it's all I got for you today. But before I go, let me give you a little bit of word of inspiration. I find that the harder I work, the more luck I have, I seem to have. Let me let me just read that again. I find that the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. Thomas Jefferson said that, and he was right. Because here's the thing. There is no substitute for hard work, not even luck, right? I guarantee you there are some small steps that you've taken. When you think it's luck, it's, it's all the little tiny steps that you took to get to where you are. Had nothing to do with luck. Had only to do with hard work and consistency and persistence. I know. I know. Because a lot of times we think it's luck. No, it's not luck. It's hard work. Even though you don't think the little steps that you are taking mean a lot, they mean a lot. They really, really do. It's called a compound effect. If you have never, you've never read that book, go read the book by Darren Hardy. It's called the compound effect. It's the little things that you do, like the little things that you do, the tiny steps you make. They're compo- they, they're compounding. You may not see them right now, but they are. And hard work push you closer to your dream. It, it has it doesn't have anything really to do with luck. It's that hard work. It's that motivation to keep going when you're tired. It's that motivation to keep going when you want to give up. It's that motivation to keep going when things keep falling apart. It's that motivation, it's that hard work, it's some tiny steps. Keep it going. Don't stop. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I feel so happy about that. I feel so happy to share this message with you because I feel like somebody needs to hear this message. Amen? Amen. I'm about to go to church on y'all on Monday. 
But listen, that's all I got for you. I'll be back again on Monday. Listen, if you miss any episode of this show, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com and do me a favor. Download the Good Morning Gwinnett app. I have not pushed that very much because there was a glitch. At least I thought it was. It was a glitch. There was a glitch in the app and, and the app company couldn't seem to find it. My hosting company couldn't seem to find it. And it's a, I've been had the app a whole year. This show turned one year old on December 18th. I've had the app a whole year and have not promoted the app because it was a glitch. And nobody could tell me how to find the glitch. My daughter told me last week. She told me what the problem was because I would play the, I would play the, the episode and I couldn't hear anything. And I was like, why? So she's like, no, I, I heard it. I was like, how did you hear it? Well, come to find out, if you have an Apple phone, if you're going to listen to the episode inside of the, the Good Morning Gwinnett app, you can't have the phone on vibrate. My phone is always on vibrate because I'm always in a meeting and I never want to be in a meeting and the phone go off because I forgot to turn it off. So I never turn on, I never turn the phone on. It's always on vibrate. So every time I would try to go and listen to the phone, listen to the episode, it wouldn't play. And it that it never dawned on me that that was an issue because I can listen to podcasts from iTunes. They play perfectly, but from my app, they were not playing and I could not figure it out. Neither could my app company. Neither could my hosting company and my daughter figured it out. She said, you cannot have the phone on vibrate. If you want to listen to the app, listen through the episode, through the app, even when you click on the website from the app and it takes you to the website, you still can't hear the the episode play, which is crazy. Now, if you went to the website from your phone by itself and hit play, you can hear it play. It's a delay. It's like a 30 second delay before the episode actually starts to play, but you can hear it play. When you do it directly from the app, it won't play if your vib- if your phone is on vibrate. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So anyway, go to the App Store, iPhone, uh, iOS App Store, and the Google App Store, Apple App Store, Google App Store. Download the app because I have I really do have a, a big a big vision this year. Like last year, my mission was to get to a hundred million. I mean, hundred million to get to a million subscribers or a million downloads or a combination of both. I have that that same vision again. Now I know what the issues are. So download the app. So you'll never miss an episode or a special promotions or whatever I got going on with Good Morning Gwinnett. We've got a lot of things planned for coming down the pike. I'm moving into the Noise Factory studio. I'm so excited about that next week. Week after next, not next week. Well, yeah, next week, next week, next week is the first of the month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week is the first of the year. So I'm moving into the, the Noise Factory studio next week. So I'm excited about that. We'll be over there doing our little celebration coming up soon. I'll be sure to, sure to share pictures with you about that. Anyway, if you want to know more about Noise Media, go to noisemedia.us noisemedia.us check out what i'm doing there i'm excited about that i'm super duper excited but anyway that's all i got for you today thank you so much for being here with me you could have been anywhere in the world for the last 58 minutes but you spent with me and i appreciate you so much be sure to share the show with your friends and follow me on instagram good morning Gwinnett. follow me on facebook at good morning Gwinnett. and follow me on twitter at gm Gwinnett. i'll be back again tomorrow god willing tomorrow is christmas eve i hope you finish all your shopping it's a it's a madhouse out there i was out there yesterday Ooh, we when I tell you it's a madhouse, it's a madhouse. But anyway, I'll be back again tomorrow, God willing. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in daily at 9 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you miss an episode, go to www.goodmorninggwinnett.com to catch up. If you like this episode, go ahead and subscribe to the show now and share it with your friends. 